This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. I just did a video that hopefully you've taken a look at showing the tab and slot command for 2018. And this is what we ended up with. This two pieces of sheet metal, with one with tabs, the other with slots, so that we can insert this in here and then weld this without having a fixture to hold this in place. So that works out pretty well. Okay, now, this command, tab and slot up here, it works great for non-sheet metal parts also. Let me illustrate. If I go to here that I've got something already done, you can see that I've got two different color boards here, and I've got a finger joint here. I can even uh, make this so that I put a spacer in here. So this is all set up for configurations. So we can take advantage of configurations here to make different length fingers so that it works the way we want it to work. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the one here that's just the boards. Before the finger joints are done, I want to put finger joints in here, basically using the tab and slot command. So here it is in sheet metal. This is obviously not sheet metal. So tab and slot and I'm going to set some things up here in advance, just like I did before. I'm going to make maybe a bunch, oh, maybe uh, 20. Uh, equal spacing along this edge here. And length, I want these to be like a quarter inch. And I want the thickness to be three quarter. And the height to be blind three-quarter also. And we've got sharp edges, fillets, and chamfers, just like we did on the other uh, command that we used, which is the same command. Now, I need to pick some things. Now, there's one more step that's required here for non-sheet metal parts, and that is we've got to pick the edge, we've got to pick the face, and we've got to pick the face that butts up to this other board. Okay, that's not required in sheet metal. When it knows it's sheet metal, it does that automatically. And that's this box down here, right here, that requires us to pick this other face. So let me get started here. I'm going to pick this edge. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure you pick the right one. This is Boss Extrude 2. This other one is Boss Extrude 1. Yes, Boss Extrude 2. That's the one I want. You can see the vertices here, one over here, one over here. These are set automatically if I wanted to do offsets, okay? Now, I'm not going to do offsets here, but I could. So I've got all everything set up. Now I need to pick this face. There we go. Kind of a light pink, okay? Now I need to pick this other face. Now this is not an obvious thing. So that's why I'm trying to point this out to you. So I need to zoom in here, and I'll right-click and select Other. Now, if you remember, this was Boss Extrude 2. So which one of these do I want? That one or that one? No, I want that one right there. Click. Preview. If you pick the wrong one, you will not get a preview. And in fact, you'll get an error message that says it's an inappropriate or invalid face. So I've got everything I need. And if you fail to do that, it'll tell you that the selections are incomplete. So one, two, three, go. There we are. That easy. This is an incredible command, and it works great for sheet metal or, as you see, for woodworking. So you can do specialty cabinet joints and things like that very, very easily here with this command. Tab and slot and... That's all I wanted to show you today. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Have a great day.